The work of God is this, is to believe in the one he has sent. Who is that person? That is Jesus himself. If you say you are saving Jesus and you do not believe in him, the work that you are doing, it is the work of your mind, not the work of God. Jesus means life. Jesus means restoration. Jesus means healing. Jesus means protection. Jesus means success. Jesus means salvation. So before Jesus came to this life, life was completely lost or destroyed. So he came to give power to the body which was no what? No life. If you say you are working for God today, you must be a believer. Not just a mere confession. Jesus is inside you. And you know what you are talking about. So if you can worship God minus Jesus, who are you worshiping? Are you telling God that the Jesus you sent is meaningless, useless, and nothing? We can worship you even without Jesus? No. The wisdom of God is beyond human what? Wisdom. So anything from God is more important than what you think you know. So it came as what? As power to give life to the lifeless body. What you are rejecting today is what you need. Or is what you want is what can make your life better without Jesus in your life even if today you are eating you are in that position you are enjoying everything is good without Jesus Jesus came to give life to the world if it is not God who is leading your life anything that you are claiming that you know whether you are having a certificate a master's in theology without his own understanding in you you will be preaching hellless, not salvation. If you cannot maintain your relationship with him, even whatever you receive from him will disappear from your hands. Life is not all about what you have or what you learn from your fellow human being. But the relationship that you keep with God Almighty, you can receive money, marriage, children, the way you are going to live with your creator who determines the fruit of your life. So there's no way you can say you are a child of God without the power of life. Jesus is the power of life.